those of you who are supervisors, we're not ever going to budget for safety again in Alcoa. My financial people were terrified that it would unleash a torrent of frivolous requests for improvements. Didn't happen, but that was a concern when I said we're not going to budget for safety. If we identify, if anybody in this organization identifies an opportunity for improvement to assure people are not going to be hurt, I want you to go ahead and fix it. I'll figure out how we pay for it. Don't worry about it. And then I told the hourly folks, uh, take out your pad and a pencil and write this down. And I told them my home phone number. And I told them, if they don't do what I just said to you, night or day, you call me up and let me know. And uh, so about three weeks later, I got a call about 11 o'clock at night, and the voice on the other end said, uh, this is Larry from uh, Tennessee. I work in a Tennessee plant. You were here a few weeks ago, and you said all this hot stuff about safety. And um, I'm calling you because uh, for the last three days, we've had a broken section of a conveyor system that moves 600-pound ingots aluminum ingots from the casting pit to the rolling mill. And it's long, it's maybe four or 500 feet long, and the center section is broken, so we, the hourly people, have had to pick these things up, carry them past the broken section to the next working section. And we're terrified we're gonna drop these things on our feet and be permanently disabled or hurt our backs. And, and uh, so I'm calling up to say, all that stuff you said isn't true. So I said, uh, Larry, thanks for calling me. I, I said, I'll call you back. Uh, and uh, I called the, in those days, I'll call out a 24-hour operator in the headquarters. I called the operator and said I needed to have the uh, telephone number of a plant manager in Tennessee, which she gave me, and I dialed the number. After a few rings, a groggy voice on the other end answered. And uh, I explained who I was and that Larry had called me from Tennessee. And I said to him, uh, I want you to get out of bed, go down to the plant, fix that conveyor section, and call me when it's fixed. Uh, so I hung up. At about 4 o'clock in the morning, the phone rang. It was the plant manager. And he said... Uh, the conveyor is fixed, and I'm sorry they called you. And I said, you don't understand. I told him to call me, and I don't ever want him to have a reason to call me again. Is that understood what your obligation and responsibility is? To have a risk-free work environment for the people who are there? Thank <laughs> you.